The 2017 RC44 Championship is getting close to its end. Despite the friendly atmosphere ashore, all the teams are eager to win. Afloat the battle is getting even fiercer. As a result, the on-the-water umpires must be on their toes to ensure the racing remains as fair as possible. The rule of the jury in the RC44, I think, is different from uh, the standard uh, duty in other classes because we try to do as much as possible all the decision on the water. The fleet has sometimes small problems on the water. They break some rules, but they, are, they respect each other. There are no breakdowns between boats, no collisions. They really are friends. I think they, all of them are quite good separating the racing to the rest. And uh, when we give the penalties, um, they get upset sometimes, but uh, on the water for a moment, and then we have a good discussion afterwards. And as long as the rules are clear, they enjoy the experience and so do we. While on day one there was no standout team, today Peninsula Petroleum had the bit between her teeth, winning both races. This was despite sending with different helms, Alfredo Morales in the first race standing in for owner John Bassadoni, who arrived just in time for the second. The Gibraltar team now leads the RC44 Calero Marines Cup overall. Vladimir Prosikin's team Mika climbed one place to second at the end of day two, while Chris Bake's team Aqua is third. Big waves with uh, not that much wind, so obviously it's tough um, to make sure you keep the boat going, and uh, yeah, it's, it's just a lot tougher. But um, but you know, with uh, with good feedback from um, from Vasco and from uh, from Oli uh, on the on the main, and uh, you know, helping me along, which uh, which is good. We have a quite clear idea what we want to do during uh, today, and not always happen like that. And I think that uh, the the, the owners uh, <laughs> today did an amazing job of driving the boat uh, very, very nicely and it's easy for me to, to call tactics uh, with this uh, kind of approach on the boat. With the stakes getting ever higher, the action continues tomorrow for the penultimate racing day of the regatta and the season.